What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to answer one of the questions I get most. How do I move flows from one place to another? Today, we talk about import and export. Alright, so we want to import, we want to export, we want to export, we want to import. Either way, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you both sides of the equation, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export a flow. And uh, so let's say I want to export, uh, let's use this Microsoft onboarding flow here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the three dots, okay? The more commands or the ellipses, the vertical ellipses. And I'm actually going to go ahead and click on export. Now you'll notice a couple things here. You can export this two ways, as a zip or as a JSON package, which actually can turn it into a logic app. For the purpose of this video, uh, we're not going to make a logic app. We're going to make a zip, which allows you to take flows from one environment, move them to another, one customer to another, from your environment where you create them into your customer environment. Now, there's more advanced ways to do this now. We have solutions. I'll go ahead and make a video about solution packaging. No, wait. I already have a video about solution packaging with Kent. That one came out a while ago. Uh, I'll go ahead and, and put that link in the description for you guys, okay? All right, so what we have to do here is we have to name the flow, okay? So we'll call this onboarding flow. And uh, we're going to, it came from the Microsoft new default environment. And uh, the description needs no description. Okay. And so now what you'll have to do is you'll have to like choose, do I want to update this flow? Do I want to create as a new flow? We'll have them created as a new flow. And then they're going to have to select their connections during import, which we want, right? Because when we export an import flow, we don't want someone to bring all of our connections to this, okay? And so this flow was actually created by somebody else. And so it has all their connections built in. And so we definitely don't want their connections going to someone else. So we're gonna make sure, you see here, we this is perfect. So we have to choose that they have to uh, select during import here, which is great. Okay, and so now when we're happy with all of that, looks like my page is uh, blocked here. There it is, and there's the export button. When we're happy with everything there, we just go ahead and click on export. You can see creating your package, don't navigate away. It just went ahead and downloaded that zip. Let's go ahead and pop it up here in my downloads folder. And you can see there it is, onboarding flow 2019-5037, whatever it is. Okay, now let's go the other way. Let's say that we want to import a flow. Let's say you had a package from someone else and you want to import a flow. Let's go ahead and go over here to my flows. And then do you see it yet? Do you see it yet? There's a button already there. Boom. Import. Right there at the top of the screen. So instead of building a new flow, we can just import one. We go ahead and hit that import button. It's going to pop up an explorer here for us. Click on the upload button. It's going to ask you, where do you want to pull this from? It's in my downloads folder, so now we need to organize everything. Oh boy, I have too much stuff in my onboarding flow. There it is. Double click that, uploading your package. Don't navigate away. All right, here we go. Now, let's go ahead and create some new connections. We're going to go ahead and use our connection that's already there. Boom. Select during import. Blob storage. Boom. 
select our Outlook connection, boom, our Azure AD connection. I think we have to make one of those. So this is where we can build a new connection to Azure AD. So we click there, we click create, you can see dialog boxes popping up. So it calls me and I have to put in some digits to authorize it. All right, so that connection is now created. We can choose that, boom, and now import. Give it a couple of seconds here while it does all of its magic behind the scenes. It's pretty cool. This actually takes a flow that someone else built and then just recreates it for you with all of your information plugged in there. It's, uh, it's pretty wild. There we go. All package resources successfully imported. The flow has been created successfully. Open the flow. And there you can see it. Everything is there. And that's import export, guys, just like that. All right, simple as that, my friends. Imported a flow, exported a flow, did it both ways. You saw how simple it was. Now, you go make some flows, export those things, and put them in the flow cookbook so other people can use them too. All right, that's it from me today. Much love. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.